Hey everyone, welcome back to Tuesday with Tasha. Today, I want to talk about those people who feel like family, but aren't really family. Those are called friends. And we're reading about them in a book called A Friend Like You by Frank Murphy and Charnay Gordon, illustrated by Kayla Heron. A Friend Like You You'll meet thousands and thousands and thousands of people in your lifetime. Some you will only meet once, some you'll get to know a little, and you'll get to know some people so well that you'll call them friends. Some of these friends will become supportive friends, honest friends, generous friends, true friends, forever friends, best friends. Go out into the world and make friends. The world needs a friend like you. Be a curious friend. Asking questions is a good way to start friendships. Listen with an open heart and mind. When you are a better listener, you can ask better questions. Getting to know someone's stories, thoughts, and ideas matters. It shows you care. Be an accepting friend. Some people you meet will be from places that are far, far away, but most will be from right around the corner. A few will look just like you. A few will practically be your opposite. Many will believe what you believe, even more will not. Be an open-minded friend. Become friends with all kinds of people. The only way to learn how to get along with people who are different from you is by being with them. Find out things you both like to do and do them together. Be a flexible friend. You might like to wear high tops while your friend likes to wear flip flops. A friend might like to snack on sushi, but you prefer pizza. You might stay up all night reading while a friend spends all night watching movies. Try something new with a friend and no matter what, celebrate each other. Be a forgiving friend. Your friends will make mistakes. You will too. Everyone makes mistakes. Friends say sorry and move on. Be a kind friend. Friends share. They share things like toys and games and snacks, but they also share ideas and goals and hopes and dreams. Sharing makes friendships stronger, so share often. Be a thoughtful friend. When a friend is feeling down, maybe you'll help them up, or maybe their life is feeling loud and you can be a quiet place. Whatever you do, being there when they need you is what matters most. Be an ally. An ally is one of the most powerful things you can be for a friend. It means a friend can trust you to stand up and speak up for them even when they're not there. A friend and ally will always have your back and you will always have theirs. That's what true friends do. It doesn't matter if it's a friend you grow up with or a friend you meet when you're all grown up. Play together, laugh with each other, dream together. One day, you'll notice you weren't just having fun, you were making memories. The memories you make together will last a lifetime. So go out into the world and make friends. Be curious and accepting, forgiving and kind. Be a true friend. The world needs a friend like you. This is such an awesome reminder to go meet new people and make memories with them. And you never know, you might end up with a friend and even a best friend. I love my best friends and I'm sure you all do too. But don't forget, it's never 
ever too late to make new friends. If you love this book as much as I did, make sure you click the link in the description box so you can get a physical copy. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all next week. Bye-bye!